A few good men's on today on the History Channel. How about that? How about that? <laughs> yeah, baby. I like it like that. I like it like that. I like it like that. <laughs> As you heard on, on the radio. <laughs> you heard on the radio. The impersonation of it. <laughs> To teach you how to impersonate your favorite singers <laughs> under educational purposes for fair use. <laughs> for fair use. Don't forget your rules. The Constitution beats copyright law. <laughs> Can't have both laws on the books either with freedom of speech. I know. They cancel each other out <laughs> in a way. If you do it 100%, <laughs> you can do it 10%. Or 90%. <laughs> but it's got to be one or the other. <laughs> so. mm. <laughs> he gets the 10 or he gets the 90. Shane Edward Lee. Because you named the soundboard before he was born. <laughs> Shane Edward Lee too. You figure it out. Uh, now, getting back to the story at hand. The Gnostics were teaching... What Paul and John were saying about the androgynous Jesus. Quit lying. And that Adam too was a hermaphrodite, idiot. <laughs> you take, can't take a woman out of me and make her from me. <laughs> I'm not male and female like he was. <laughs> In one body. <laughs> and why one person? <laughs> who was both in essence or spirit. <laughs> You can't take a rib from me and make a woman anymore. I'm her husband. I don't know. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm the one who impregnated her. <laughs> but you couldn't stand it. <laughs> you had a problem with it. You ruined our life. <laughs> Together. Mm -hmm. Not me and her. <laughs> You tipped in sex. You tipped in marriage. You tipped in even my genitals. <laughs> and they grew back. <laughs> you are never a good friend to me. You're a cow asshole. <laughs> in your dad, in your dad. 